First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. We are looking at a very summer-like pattern, and that is going to continue for a while. Even though we're seeing a little better rain chances coming in for the weekend, who gets the rain is the big question, and more so... How long is it going to stick around once it starts? Well, here's a look at First Alert Live Doppler Radar. So far, no rain out there this morning. Yesterday afternoon, though, we did see some pop-up showers over toward Taylor County and out to the east of us, and we could see that again later this afternoon. We're starting the day at 68 degrees with a look at temperatures around the Mesonet sites. It's mostly upper 60s to low 70s. See a lot of 71s in there, a lot of 70s, 72s, and then upper 60s as you head further south and east toward the Lake Cumberland area. Average high 87. We'll hit that 92 degree mark again today like we did yesterday, making yesterday the hottest day of the year on Tuesday. Then uh, tomorrow, same thing, 92 once again. In fact, we'll throw it in there for at least a couple more times before we get some better rain chances with a cold front coming in for the weekend. And the clouds and the showers will bring us down to 90 for Saturday. Showers in 89 for Sunday. And look at this, 87, maybe 85 by next Tuesday. So as the temperatures go down a bit, we'll see our rain chances going up, as you'll see coming up in the seven-day forecast. In the meantime, we're starting the uh, beautiful day here for this Wednesday morning from Doppler Cam, bright sunshine from our studios and seeing just a few uh, scattered clouds out there this morning. And our current temperature is at 68 degrees. The winds are calm. And the humidity, 98%, which means that dew point at 67, air temperature at 68, they're just one degree departure there. So 98% of our atmosphere right now has that available moisture, and that's why it often feels humid, especially when the sun begins to heat it up. Litchfield, you're starting at 71 up in Grayson County this morning, and of course we're getting ready to head your way tomorrow afternoon at the Walgreens store there in Litchfield, Highway 62 and Kentucky 259 will be there 2 to 4 for our on-the-road event for the St. Jude Dream Home. Glasgow, you're at 71 and starting sunny today there in Barron County. Russellville, you're seeing some of those same scattered clouds, but you're fair, 69 degrees in Logan County. And Franklin, you're starting with bright sunshine around the Simpson County Courthouse. You're at 70 degrees. Air quality unchanged over the last few days, still very high in the UV. A pollen count is low, but it's the ozone and the molds that are both in the moderate category today. Rough River Lake, that is our hometown forecast presented by the Kentucky Lottery. We'll see 90 today for Breckenridge County up in the Hardinsburg area. Elizabethtown, Hardin County, 90, maybe 91 for Grayson County, Litchfield today. The Powerball jackpot for tonight estimated to be at $50 million. The next Mega Millions drawing estimated to be at $20 million. Regional temperatures at the airports reporting mainly 60s to the east, 70s almost near 80 degrees out west. We're at 70 right now at the Bowling Green Airport, which is 2 degrees warmer than it was at this hour just yesterday. Radar still very quiet over Kentucky. We saw those renegade showers east of us yesterday. The main thrust of activity, though, is along a boundary that's off to our north across the Great Lakes, and that, the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, they continue get it to get pounded with heavy rain and thunderstorms there. High pressure hanging on for us, and we'll see those just little scattered showers and pop-up thunderstorms late day. Everything fades away tonight. That boundary to the north tries to work its way a little further south toward the Ohio River, but this ridge of high pressure rather strong, and it's going to hang tough at least for a little while longer. The best hope that we can get for any rain would be those little isolated, widely scattered pop-up showers late in the day again tomorrow. And then as we get closer to the weekend, this front, an area of low pressure will ease its way eastward as the ridge begins to break down. And that will be our better chance of getting some showers and thunderstorms. Hot and humid otherwise today, an isolated shower chance and 92. For tonight, partly cloudy. Warm and muggy, 71. Tomorrow, back to 92 with that late-day shower chance. 
and then the better chance of showers Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Each day we're going to throw in a 40% chance of a scattered shower thunderstorm. And as I mentioned earlier, those clouds and the rain showers, that will help bring the temperatures down a bit into the mid to upper 80s from, of course, the low 90s that we're seeing right now. This looks like uh, Briscoe Starling is uh, he's he's trying got a, to got a tail it. feather up there on the Doppler cam at this hour. He's, he's trying his best to make an appearance. He is.